As soon as I close the door to the aircraft, that's when they begin the safety lecture. I love the safety lecture. This is my favorite part of the airplane ride. I listen very carefully to the safety lecture, especially that part where they teach us how to use the seat belts. For the point zero zero one percent of you who have never operated a seatbelt before, really? I mean, it works like this. Insert the metal end into the buckle until it clicks and pull on the loose end to tighten, making sure it fits slow and tight across your lap. There you go. To open, lift on the top of the buckle. And remember, seatbelts should be fastened whenever you're seated, just in case of unexpected turbulence or weather conditions. Seatbelt. High-tech shit. Yo, 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 now that you're bopping your head to the rap scene, now that your eyes are glued to the flat screen, if the cabin pressure's changing, you know that we won't be leaving you hanging. Pull your mask down first, don't worry, oxygen flows. Tighten the straps after placing on your mouth and your nose. If you're traveling with someone, like a child, for instance, put your mask on first before you offer assistance. Nah, nah, nah. In the unlikely event of a sudden change in cabin pressure, roof flies off. <laughs> An oxygen mask will drop down in front of you. Place the mask over your face and breathe normally. Well, I have no problem with that. I always breathe normally when I'm in a 600 mile an hour uncontrolled vertical dive. I also shit normally. Right in my pants! They tell you to adjust your oxygen mask before helping your child with his. I did not need to be told that. In fact, I'm probably going to be too busy screaming to help him at all. This will be a good time for him to learn self-reliance. If he can program his fucking VCR, he can goddamn jolly well learn to adjust an oxygen mask. Fairly simple thing, just a little rubber band in the back is all it is. Not nearly as complicated as, say, for instance, a seatbelt. Just in case we must evacuate. We've got a plan of attack. We've got a plan of attack. Four with no exits on this airplane. Oh, no Four exit doors, two in the front and two in the back. The safety lecture continues. The next thing they do, they tell you to locate your nearest emergency exit. I do this immediately. <laughs> I locate my nearest emergency exit and then I plan my route. You have to plan your route. It's not always a straight line, is it? Sometimes there's a really big fat fuck sitting right in front of you. Well, you know you'll never get over him. I look around for women and children, midgets and dwarfs, cripples, war widows, paralyzed veterans, people with broken legs, anybody who looks like they can't move too well. The emotionally disturbed come in very handy at a time like this. You might have to go out of your way to find these people, but you'll get out of the plane a lot goddamn quicker, believe me. I say, let's see, I'll go around the fat fuck, step on the widow's head, push those children out of the way, knock down the paralyzed midget, and get out of the plane where I can help others. In the unlikely event of a water landing, Well, what exactly is a water landing? Am I mistaken, or does this sound somewhat similar to crashing into the ocean? <laughs> Your seat cushion can be used as a flotation device. Well, imagine that. My seat cushion. Just what I need to float around the North Atlantic for several days. Clinging to a pillow full of beer farts. It's time for final cabin check. Make sure all carry-on bags are stowed away. Tray tables and seats are in their upright and locked positions. 
Tell me to return my seat back and tray table to their original upright positions? Fine. Who's going to return this guy in the Grateful Dead t-shirt and the fuck you had to his original upright position? <laughs> Then they mentioned carry-on luggage. First time I heard carry-on, I thought they were going to bring a dead deer on board. I thought, what the hell do they mean with that? Don't they have the little TV dinners anymore? Then I thought, carry-on, carry-on, there's going to be a party. People are going to be carrying on on the plane. Well, I don't care for that. I like a serious attitude on the plane, especially on the flight deck, which is the latest euphemism for cockpit. Can't imagine why they wouldn't want to use a lovely word like cockpit, can you? Especially with all those stewardesses going in and out of it all the time. <laughs>